Yo, Inca, you wanna come out here? <laughs> Hello, bit humans, bitches, niggas, and everybody in between. It's your boy, Incog. We at it again. We're gonna find Matthew O'Shaniel, aka Matt O'Shea, aka the man, the myth, the legend. So we got a really interesting team. If you didn't watch the team build it, then you're an idiot. Okay. Oh, he brought a more serious team, and I literally wrote down everything except for the Frost Lass. So he didn't bring Jirachi, which we were kind of low-key scared of, only low-key. Um, but he brought everything else we were expecting. He's probably going to lead off with the, uh, with the Frost Lass. If he doesn't, we're still fine. We have the Eject Pack on Lycanroc, so we can get out of there easily. Um, I, this time, we're not going to mess it up, because I remember last time we fought and we messed up our, uh, our team thing. So it's all good. Um... But yeah, shout out to the boys who helped out. Shout out to Ray, shout out to Sandy, shout out to Pat. Shout out to everybody this season in case this is our last time uh, battling the BBL. And, you know, honestly, I'm just going to take this time to say this. Uh, motherfucking, uh, e even if I do win, it's going to be real rough to schedule for next week. So hopefully, if I do win, scheduling goes good because my coworkers, spoiler alert, are sick with Bovid 18. So... I had to pick up shifts, and that's not going to be fun. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. All right, Matthew O'Shaniel, let's see what you got. He might lead. He probably leads off process, honestly. And that's better for him, you know? He knows that he can hazard stack against him. I mean, everybody fucking can. I got rid of my fucking Salamis, dude. Um, so, GLHF to my boy. You already know Matt. Matt, Matt and I, Matt and I have grown to be great friends, and I'm always in his front office, so we know, we know how he plays. We don't know how he's going to play. You get it? Full Buster, that is definitely the Frostless, I believe, right? Yeah, there it is. Um, so we're just going to Rock Blast. No reason not to. He could speed tie with us, and he could lose it, or he could win it. We'll find out together. All right. This is our idea. This is what we're doing. We're doing it. This this was literally the only idea that I was very much for sure about. Yeah, he's going to withdraw. If he goes hard in Sarah, that might be really funny. No, he just goes into the uh, the slow bar. That's fine. Uh, so he's going to try and get a passage later, which is fine. Um, we're going to get some good, ch ah, wow, hold on. You know what? That's pretty good chip if you ask me, my nigga. Um, do I burn my CC now? Maybe. Um, I'm sure I could. I ser I'm sure I should too, honestly. Um, cause once I burn it, then I switch out and honestly, it might be better for me. I'm not sure though. I kind of want to do it, but I also want to like not do it. Cause I like this eject pack really, really much. Um, let me think about it, dude. Uh, there's not really much because he's going to teleport. If I go hard vape, then he goes hard Zekrom, Frost last. But then I flip turn back into this. I mean, honestly, is it worth it? I think we could go into vape and see what he wants to do. Um, He might just go toxic. I'm not sure what he wants to do. Obviously, Matt brought a mixed defensive slow bar last time. So we'll see what he wants to do this time. Uh, he probably just go for toxic or teleport. Now he goes for grass knot, which is also fine. Uh, Calling this coming in, which is cool. I mean... We're not dead, so there's that update. Uh, Grass Knot, though, what was he calling? Was he calling Grotter to come in? I don't know. Um, So I could wish here. I'm just going to flip turn and just be okay with this decision. Um, I don't see... If he's just going to attack me, that's also fine. I could easily flip turn into the Dragapult, and that could be really, really bad for him. Especially because, like, his switching... Oh, okay, he's going to switch out. That's amazing for me, actually. He's going to go... Oh, my God, this is so good. Okay, so based on the way that Matt switched out, right? Matt went, oh my God, hold on. That did a good chunk. Um, I kind of want to see. That shouldn't have done that much on a Frost Last from Vaporeon. I mean, we have Mystic Water, I guess, but like that shouldn't have done that much. If he's just Suicide Lead, Max HP, how much do we do normally? Uh, okay, so we're doing a little bit more than I expected. All right, Um, hmm, that's interesting. Especially at Adamant. Really? For real? On God? Huh. All right. Well, then, how much does Lycanroc do now? 35, so we have to go for Rock Blast or something else. Uh, I could go into Pulled Pult and just go for Dragon Darts, honestly. Might be a really good play, because I could save Lycanroc for later. I don't think he's Scarf if he's Scarf will find out here. It's not like Dragon Pult's like our end game winner. It's just more like, hey, look at this. Look at this guy. Because he switched out. He would have definitely attacked us if he knew, if he wanted to go for his spike there. We know Dragon Darts will kill from here. So, okay, so he is going to switch out, which is completely fine by me. He is just going to go into Escanar, which is the uh, Incineroar. 
We are uh, the obvious um, clear body, so we don't get intimidated. So we can just go for our Dragon Dart to get us some good chip, which will definitely help us in the end game. Um, there's some nice, solid damage. Oh my god. Yeah, wow. Okay. That's really good damage, actually, generally. We're going to U-turn. No reason not to. Um, he's probably going to Parting Shot here. Uh, so we go right back into Vaporeon, honestly. Or, if we're really thinking on our toes, we can go into Leafeon right now and see what he wants to do. But that might be a really bad play because of Frost Last. So I think right now we should just U-turn, which is what I'm already doing. But then it's kind of like, what do I want to do after that? Because if it's Parting Shot I'm worried about, then I just go into Lycanroc, honestly. And I'm pretty cool with whatever he wants to do after that. But he's taking damage on Incineroar, which is really, really good for us for later. Because now he dies to another Dragon Dart and then a U-turn again. Or he just dies to, like, two straight Dragon Darts, which is really good for us. Given that he just took 50, so he's definitely Spadef, um, but just max HP. So that's really cool. Um, but hey, guys, let's talk. Let's let's do the Incog Talks About Things while he plays. Um, you know, work's been cool. You know, work's been definitely cool. Um, not the greatest of all. Rocky Helmet, that's fine. Um, not the greatest things, but it's been cool, you know. It, 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 it's been going, you know. Things happen. But, uh, yeah, I mean, work's been cool. Work's been all right. Nothing really crazy has happened recently. It's just been more like, eh, you know, things happen. I thought he was going to parting shot because then I'll get my jet pack and then I'll switch out and then he won't be able to switch out. That's what I was hoping for. Um, Which happens. Uh, I could just double out right now into Leafeon to call out his bluff of switching out into Slowbro, which actually might be the play. So I'm going to do that. Uh, but yeah, guys, you know, channel's doing good. We hit 800 again for the second time. Um, and we're staying there this time, which is great. Um, so that's pretty cool, man. You know, that, that's real litty. Um, yeah, he's going to switch out. Awesome. So we get up our sub here automatically. Um, yep, there we go. But yeah, it's been real cool, dog. Been been real nice OG and an OB. Uh, yeah, we get up a sub immediately. Um, but yeah, dude. Uh, good stuff here. Really good stuff uh, coming out the Incog Production home. Um, I got a video that wants to come out. Well, when does this come out? This comes out not on the 8th because that's the Pat video. The 15th. Um, no, the 15th is when this comes out, right? That's what I just said. Yeah. So I might have something come out on my birthday, which is the 27th. Don't forget it. Um, I have a different kind of video. I might have some in the works. You never know. Um, uh, but yeah, man, things have been going. They've been going pretty good. You know, goes into Armstrong, which is the Tarak. Oh, no, that's the Landers. Excuse me. Sorry. Um, this is not bad because we get up our leech seed and then we get health back. So that's pretty good for us. Um, and then as soon as he wants to go for another move, I can easily sack Vaporeon. So we're just going to go for leech seed. If he goes to rock polish, that's cool or whatever. But like, if we're behind a sub and synthesizing, this man can't do much. He's going to earth power, which is definitely going to break our sub, which is unfortunate. We, we should, I hope, I hope we do. Hope we land our leech seed, which would be great, honestly. Hey, we landed our leech seed. All right, here we go. Shout out to Razor, because this is all your fault. <laughs> we sat here. We were like, yo, man, are we really going to turn this on? Like, I've been a stall nigga since the depth, since the jump, my nigga. This is it for this nigga, bro. This set, look at him. Now he's taking chip. His earth power now is going to hurt us, but then we can still sub afterwards, which will allow me to synthesis after he goes for another earth power, right? Watch this. Y'all not even listening. Y'all y'all don't even know what I'm finna do to this nigga. That's cool in it. That's cool, my nigga. That's great. Honestly, bro, this sub going up, my nigga. This it's a wrap for you. We here. We here, my nigga. We here. I'm getting my chip because now, no matter what wants to happen next, my chip is established. And that's what I needed. And Razor was right. That's all we needed. So, Nathaniel O'Shaniel, we're gonna see how this one goes for you. My boy. Uh, I can sub again, honestly, and that's what I'm going to do. I don't care. <laughs> that's right. Another sub's going up. You heard it. I knew he'd bring U-turn. He had to because he wasn't bringing Sludge Wave. We got a crit. Oh, thanks. Thanks, pal. Thanks, amigo. If he goes hard into Zekrom, then we have to switch out, unfortunately, which sucks. Oh, uh, Actually, no, we don't. We have to think more about our plays if he goes hard Zekrom, which is bad. I hate thinking. Fuck thinking. But interestingly enough, if you guys don't know, unless he's Life Orb, he does not Oko Leafeon until plus four. Fun fact of the afternoon. That's Kanar. That is the 
Incineroar, which is amazing because his U-turn, guess what? Doesn't break our sub unless he has a bunch of investment. So, it's a good set right here. <laughs> oh, shout out to Razor. Shout out to the boys in the hood. They're always hard. Look at this, bro. Look at Curry, man. So inspirational. Um, He doesn't know this, but we have no attacking move. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know, but we're just chilling. Real nigga feeling rich kid. Anyways, damn it, dispensary. You're supposed to hit that attack. All right, we get to see if he has attack investment or he gets a high roll. Damn it, he has attack investment. There's no possible way. There's no fucking chance. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way he doesn't have attack investment. Because there's only like three or four rolls, or like two or three rolls, excuse me, that that would allow that to happen. This nigga crazy, bro. Me and Razor were thinking he was gonna do something like he was gonna be like 40 investment or some shit just to make sure he got this, but that shit's crazy. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. We can switch out. We should switch out, honestly. Uh, Vaporeon? Flip turn? Yeah. This is going to become really, really bad really, really quick, but we need to start establishing some dominance soon because if he gets up too many hazards, that's going to be the problem. Three three layers is what I don't want. Or you got to see what he wants to do here. He might just go for an attack. Willow. Amazing. That's actually good. That's great. That's amazing. Phenomenal. Record-breaking. Um, I, I wish I was leftovers, but we decided to go Mystic Water. Well, I decided because it to it KOs every Incineroar. And also, um, we outpace, so it's fine. I'm going to flip turn here, get a little bit more chip. And then we can go into Lycanroc, because he, if he goes for a spike, then we're going hard Lycanroc. If he doesn't, there's a chance he's going to switch out again. No, he's going to go for a spike, so we're going to go into Lycanroc. That's good. Good to know. That also tells me one thing, though. He might not be as fast as we think he is. I guess I should have just gone for a surf. 4K, Avery, why didn't you just eh, shut up? Don't worry about me. Worry about you. Uh, or, or, or really quickly bolt and just dragon darts again and pick up a kill. Who says no? Right? Because if I have Lycanroc for later, Lycanroc still gives me priority for later, right? So then, technically speaking, I'll have Lycanroc for like other bullshit and getting off Accelerox and stuff. Or if I don't sack Lycanroc right now, because Slowbro's coming in 100% if I go Lycanroc. So I have to go, I'm going to go into pull pull because he's going to be faster regardless. And he went for Willowis, so he's probably special. Probably his hex. We'll see. He's also not Scarf, so that's good. Yeah, I don't see why we don't Dragon Darts here. I'm picking up my kill right now, Nathaniel Shaniel, and we'll live in Ice Shard, so we're good. Keep him in range, Avery. Just keep him in range, because as long as he's in range of shit, we don't care. And as soon as something dies, we can go hard Groudon because his team, as it stands, hates looking at Groudon in the face. So we're good. As long as he's not like plus two on Terrakion, we should be fine. Because as Razor warned me, if he gets up to if he gets up a Swords Dance, uh, our team falls apart after rocks. So got to keep this nigga around, but we also got to make sure that we don't allow that to happen. Goodbye, nigga. Back to the lobby. Oh, yeah, he's definitely not bulky. That was a crit. Eh, maybe he might be. Who knows? Curse body, Alfonso Galio. All right, bro. All right, man. I think that's the first. All right. I think that might be the first uh, kill of the match, actually, genuinely. I don't care if he goes fucking, uh, what's his face? He better be Lumberry. If he's going hard, Zekrom, he better be fucking Lumberry. Because if he's not Lumberry, we're will assuming that entirely. And Terrakion. I don't care. But then I do kind of need this, so I do kind of care. So low key, this is a bad situation to be in. But like, honestly, not the worst place I've been in today. And if we Phantom Force, right, then he's forced to go for another Dragon Dance, right? And then like we get our chip and then we can go into Weavile or Icarus and get our damage off, you know? Like, there's a really, there's a great amount of possibilities we have here. So I want to see what he wants to do. If he goes hard Zekrom, then that's Escanar. That is the Incineroar, I believe. Yep. So we just get another kill, because I don't believe he's Scarf Incineroar. He's Rocky Helmet, as far as we were understanding. So I'm going to Dragon Darts again. All right. This nigga disabled me. Darn. What will I ever do? Hold on. Dragapult. And he took like 45, 47-ish from me. Uh, especially defensive. 
and we did no we didn't do that much so he definitely has investment so from this range that's not gonna kill so we could just go for u-turn let something die here at, at, which is fine i could let vaporeon go right here which is also fine but this puts him in range still so it's fine he's putting me in he's putting me in more range but he doesn't have priority so it's fine because frost ass is dead uh, so we can let Vape Nation go or Lycan Rock, and I think I have to let Vape Nation go. I think that's the best thing that I have to let go of. Yeah, because I don't have any other Pokemon I can just sack here, which is fine. It allows me to go hard Groudon after, so that's also good. Incineroar kills Vaporeon, I'm pretty sure. Or e Oh. Well, it didn't, but who burned me? Frostlass, so Frostlass gets that kill. I'll put it in parentheses burn. That's amazing for me still though. Um, so this will allow me to see what he wants to do. He has to be scarfed to outpace Weavile, despite us being adamant. Ah, damn, Razor might have been right. We could have packed a low kick, but eh. I just, I just don't envision him thinking like, hmm, one of us has to stay in, and I'm not gonna stay in against him. So there's that. I'll give, I'll give, I'll give Razor that. I'll give Razor that. He's definitely right on that. Oh, that is the slow bro. That's uh, an interesting Pokemon to go into. Um, okay, that's fine. I can go Groudon and Solar Beam. Get my damage. Because his Grass Knot will not do crazy shit ton to us. I have to also just make my plays faster. Just because I know Matt's running lower than me on time. So I have to make sure if I can, if there's any other way to win, the best way to win is by time. And I'm not going hard into fucking what's its face. Yeah, he's down by two minutes. We're going to solar beam here. There's no reason not to um, get a good chunk of chip here. Um, we have Rindo in case he wants to go over his grass knot. Scald obviously would probably be, eh, probably be a bit more effective, but it's fine. We get off really good damage against this. Uh, Incineroar would die. Zekrom won't. I know that much. Landorus probably won't either. We'll see. I'm just going to go for solar beam. And then we can go hard flamethrower earth fire depending on the damage here we'll see that did like 85 ish percent that's really good let me do the calc yeah hey free wake up i don't like this all right slow bro uh just assuming max hp here since that's what we were assuming earlier um yeah, 83.5. I have a damage bar I don't use that. No, I do not. Okay, I guess I don't anymore. I just put up my uh, my little my little background thing, you know. Uh, but uh, anywho, uh, Flamethrower, regardless, should be able to take this out. And I kind of want to do that because Lander should be coming in here because I can't go over Earth Power. Could also go over Dragon Pulse if I think something else coming in. I really... Solar Beam a second time would be fine, honestly. I think that's our play. <laughs> I think I thought about it. I was like... That's probably a better play. Yeah, he's going to switch out and preserve this a little bit. I got an at and YCL. Hello. Oh, yeah. I'm a mod nigga with that, bro. Um, But, yeah. Could have easily flamethrowered, but I think Solar Beam should kill this, uh, honestly. um, If he goes hard into fuck, I think Landers will kill us regardless, so we need to be careful here. Um, this, I hope this dies. Yeah, I mean, he, she's not faster than us, so I don't really care that much. <laughs> he's not faster than us, so it's not like it matters. If he's faster than a Groudon with some speed investment, Matthew O'Shaniel, good luck. I, I, I got nothing for that. I really don't. I'm not Earth Powering this. I have no reason to reveal that I have Earth Power. Yeah. So he's going to die, which is amazing. And Sinor is dead, which means we don't take any more Rocky Element Chip, at least on that Pokemon. Um... So his option is realistically Landers or Terrakion, and either one would be really bad because they're going to kill Groudon regardless. Um, our play after that is basically Weavile has to try and clean out this game. And with the way Slowbro is in range now of knockoff, or not knockoff, just in general range, um, we should be fine. I could preserve this, honestly, but it doesn't feel like there's a reason to. Because, like, okay, so let me think about this out loud so everyone can hear it at home. Um... Lycanroc is not as useful except for its priority, which could be good for Zekrom endgame. I need Dragapult just because speed is very much a requirement here. And then I also need Weavile, and Dispensary can definitely... I don't know how useful that can be, though. Do I give it up? Do I give up our, our token here? I think I have to. 
I think I'm going to because I really want to keep the Brinkishaw just in case of something else happening. Which is terrible, but I, I think like I think I have to think about this rationally from a I want to win this standpoint. Because I said this outside of the video, like, and I also said it in the video a little bit, but I was kind of just like, you know, man, winning is great and all, but like, damn, I'm gonna be really fucking busy. <laughs> so I really don't want that um to be the case. Oh, awesome, we lived. Um we get off a free leech seed here, or just a free toxic, honestly. That's really good. Because now Dragon Arts is doing a fuck ton to everything. Uh, involved so we losing this would be actually really good oh we could also synthesis are we chlorophyll oh we are i could synthesis and get back on my health oh maybe i made a really great decision doing hmm. interesting <laughs> hmm. interesting i wasn't ex i forgot i had this move huh interesting <laughs> look at it look at my nigga bro yeah oh yeah we're not dead nigga yeah look at look man look at look at leafy on bro so inspirational i don't know what's happening now oh no this nigga's here all right so we got big nigga season in now all right well the end game's coming <laughs> oh it's coming all right <laughs> All right, so interestingly enough, we need to toxic this or we need to leech seed it first. I'm going to toxic it first because me and Riz were discussing this, right? Because uh, he was the last person who actually mocked me and, you know, it was really great. I need this toxic, basically. I can't. Oh, he's special. All right, I guess he might be a little bit special. I mean, we should live this question mark estimation point. No, no, we do not. <laughs> no, no. What happens if he's a jetpack right here? That'd be really funny, I think. Oh, he is. Oh, well, he did prep with Aquarius there. That makes sense. Never mind. No offense to you, Aquarius. No offense. Just kind of expecting it. Why would you? Hmm. Are you trying to? Are you, are you trying to get me to go into this? Because I'm not going to. I'm going into the Brickishaw, by the way. Like, no, nigga. I'm getting it. I'm getting this kill. Because something doesn't want to take a solar beam. And some else don't want to take an Earth power, my nigga. Like. When you really look at these cal, hold on, let me get this calc up real quick because I need to see if Earth Power will do enough around 50 ish. Um, slow bro max HP. Yeah, like facts, fact 47.7, right? So solar beams are gonna kill. And like, if he he wouldn't he wouldn't go hard into Zekrom here. There's no reason to, right? I'm not an idiot. And I don't want to lose that. This is a really bad 50 50, huh? If he goes hard into Zekrom, I lose this Pokemon, but then he already uses his Jack Pack, so therefore he has to attack the next turn, and I could go into Dragapult and still win this game. Therefore, Solar Beam. And I have great priority in the back, so therefore, Solar Beam. I knew it. Because I know I know my good friend, Matthew O'Shaniel. I know him really well, actually. And I know how he plays. So he, it was, it was kind of obvious, but you kind of have to sit there and be like, damn, I don't know if he's going to do that for real, for real. He could be Draco just because he wanted to get rid of Groudon really easily or he, and just have it as a pivot option. But also, like, in general, if he's going to set up here, I'm Dragon Pulsing. And, like, we have priority in the back. Like, this is not, like, I'm not falling for this bullshit. <laughs> like, like last time he caught me lacking. He really did catch me lacking. No cap, no cap, no cap. He had he had the Shuckaberry. He might have Magnet Rise this time. You know, he caught me lacking. But I'm Dragon Pulsing. I'm not, I'm not fucking around this time. If he takes this from me, Dragon Ball comes in, and then we're going to have a talk. We will have a discuss. We will start a movement. All right. So he better be ready. And if he doesn't kill me, Dragon Dance is here, right? Hey, Draco's. Okay, so he's going to kill me. If he missed, that would have been dope, but that's okay. Wait, why would I go Dragapult when I can put immediate pressure on him with Weavile? Avery, you fucking idiot. All right, come on. Get up, Avery. Get up. Come on. We got a battle to try and win. I forgot that this Pokemon was just that fucking good, this battle. <laughs> All right, so here's a scenario for everybody at home who doesn't know. All right, so we would need to hit this three times to kill this, or he's going to go hard into his Yuvia, right? He's going to take the knockoff because he's probably Culberberry. Knowing Matt, he's probably Culberberry or Boots. Probably Culber, though, so he's going to take the hit amazingly. So this is our best option to knock off. If I triple axle in a knockoff, then I possibly lose this Pokemon. So I'm going to knock off. 
So Matt's gonna switch out 110% of the time. Oh my god, this nigga's crazy! I, I don't think he's actually crazy, by the way, folks. I just think I made a bad decision. I think that was just poor. Um, Wait, why would he stay in? Maybe I was over predicting, probably. All right. Plan A, C, B. That was just overplaying on my part. So that's that's just bad. Just bad, bad, bad playing on my part. Because I was going to just hit him with the shits, but that's okay. All right. All right, all right Matt. You, you, you sure showed me. Now give me your butt. <laughs> your butt. Your butt. Butt. Your butt. It's Dragon Ball time, baby. He doesn't know. He doesn't know chat, but I have Phantom Force. I ha if he's Cassaberry, then he wins. I think that definitively puts him at just he wins. I can't. I, I literally have nothing for that. <laughs> I quite literally, quite frustratingly don't have anything for that. If he goes to Rakion, then I feel like he's Scarf, but I feel like he would have used it by now. So there is that. Um, so he probably just goes into UV and just said he's probably thinking, so, damn, he's dragon darts. He's doing a lot of damage, whatever, yada, yada. Dragon Fang Booster, so that's good. Um, but that fucking Silver has a lot of health, so I should have probably just gone for Triple Axel, knowing that he might not switch out. But there was no way to tell if he was going to or not. So while it was definitely a mistake, it was definitely a risk I had to take. All right, here comes Guy. Do I even try and look at this Cal? Because I'm going to anyway, you know. You know me. I can't switch out. <laughs> I literally can't switch out. So I have to, like, look at this Cal and see. Yeah, Dragon Arts isn't killing we could Will-O-Wisp and get that scenario that me and Razor had, but then I lose to Landorus automatically. So, with that being said, I think we need a crit. Because Phantom Force does 53, point, 53 to 62.3, 2.2. So, I think we lose. Because we didn't pack also Stone Edge, so we had to go for Iron Head Flinches. Yeah, I think we, yeah, I think, I think we lose. Well, GG to Matt, man. This, this was a great, this was a good one, man. Because unless I get a crit. Nope. Second hit crit? No. Unless he misses like Stone Edge or something. Oh my god, this bastard. Okay. I love Matt. Me and Matt have a lot of banter for anyone's like, oh, you called him a bastard. Me, me and Matt are cool. We're, we're real cool. Real cool. Real cool. All right. If I had Willow with him, do you, could you imagine the look on his face? I think that's a W for him, though. Um. If he had missed that, oh, he hit me with the O'Shea effect. Ha, ah, very funny, Matt. Fucking hate you, dog. <laughs> Fucking hate you, dog. And he's life orb, he might be in range. Let me see something. I don't think Lagerock can beat fucking, uh, what's its face, uh, Landorus, so he liked that. Um, but I think the only play that was bad was the Weavile play. So shout out to, oh, wait, it's a resisted hit. I don't think he dies. It says 13.8 to 16.2. So, I mean, if he has no, like, HP or defense, you know, if I get a crit, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, dog? You know what I'm saying? Got a guy, you know, got a little, 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 little. Never mind. I died. Oh, GG to Matthew O'Shaniel, man. I gave him a real scare, but that's going to be the end of our Bibble tour. Our Bibble, our Bibble journey, our, our Bibble transgressions. We end the season. Losing to the seventh seed. Oh, I mean, technically, that's a kill for me, right? No. Uh, I mean, technically, Life Orb, I guess. So 2-0 for Matt. Uh, GG to him. Hopefully, he can actually win it this season because we all know that uh, he didn't last time. Yeah, I'm cooking you right now, boy. I'm putting you on a platter, my nigga. No, let me stop. Uh, but shout out to Matt. He's a good friend of mine. I'm going to help him for the Bibble journey, of course. But um, shout out to him and GGs, of course. Uh, if you like this Bibble adventure, believe me, we will be back with more Pokemon action. Um, I'm not going to reveal what I got into. I don't, I think I can because this video is not going to come out later. No, this is going to come out later than when it happens, but I joined another league. Um, I'm pretty sure I joined, um, what did I join? Did I join something? Yeah, I did join something. I joined, um, fucking, uh, ICP. We're going to be doing a one last hurrah, a Gigantamax league, if you will. Um, that's going to be really fun. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and uh probably not do anything until gen 9 happens so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for being there you know um and i really do appreciate it uh from bottom of my heart shout out to all my front office members uh shout out to everyone who's there you know and i'm gonna say this in here cherry if you keep turning on your camera chewing i'm gonna go yeah that's what i thought all right look at you you foolish bastard 
See, I'm going to embarrass him live on video so everyone knows that he was doing that, chewing into his camera with his damn fries. Anyways, shout out to Razor. He's a pretty late addition, but a great, a great front office member, no cap. Shout out to Sandy, shout out to Ben, shout out to Hayes, shout out to Cherry, of course, shout out to Pat, shout out to Aquarius when she could help, shout out to Matt when he could help, shout out to all the boys and girl in here. Uh, but I'm going to peace out. That's BBL season nine, and we actually made the playoffs this time instead of getting not into playoffs. So GG's. And, uh, hey, we're the problem, man. I'm spinning off these perks. Why am I logic, man?